Hello dear students, welcome to a new algebra session. Today we'll be having a general exercise on proportion. I'm reminding you, once you see the question, pause the video, try to answer the question yourself, and then play the video again to see and check the solution. Example 1, the question is asking you to choose the correct answer. Let's now check the first question. If 2x equals 7y, then what is x over y all to the power of negative 1? Since 2x equals 7y, then x over y equals 7 over 2. Once you have the power of negative 1, this means that you're getting the reciprocal of this number or this fraction. Then here it will be 2 over 7. The reciprocal of the fraction is that you flip the fraction. Then the fraction here was 7 over 2. When you flip it, it becomes 2 over 7. So the correct choice here in question 1 is choice A. Question 2. If A, 1, B, and 2 are proportional, then what is A over B? Since the odd proportion, then a over 1 is equal to b over 2. Then 2a equals b, then a over b equals 1 over 2. So here, the correct choice is choice b. In question 3, if 4x squared equals 9y squared, then what is x over y? In order for you to find x over y, you first go and find x squared over y squared. So, x squared over y squared equals 9 over 4. If you want to remove the power of 2 that is on the x and on the y, on the other side, you write that x over y equals positive or negative square root of 9 over 4. So x over y equals positive or negative 3 over 2. So here, for question 3, the right choice is choice D. Question 4, if 5a minus 4b equals 0, then what is a over b? If 5a minus 4b equals 0, then 5a is equal to 4b. So to find a over b, it's equal to, yes, you guys are right, it's 4 over 5. So the right choice here in question 4 is choice a. Let's move on to question 5. If 4 over x is equal to 7 over y is equal to b over y minus x, then what is the value of b? As you can see here in the third ratio that we subtracted the first ratio from the second ratio. So, if we have here y minus x, so here it will be 7 minus 4 equals 3 over y minus x that is equal to b over y minus x so obviously b equals 3 so the right choice in question 5 is choice a for question 6 if x over 5 equals y over 4 equals x plus 2y over k then find the value of k as you check here, to find the third ratio, we added the first ratio to the double of the second ratio. So, x plus 2y will be over to 5 plus 2 times 4. So, this is x plus 2y over 13. This is equal to x plus 2y over k then in this case k 
is equal to 13. So the correct answer here in question 6 is choice C. Let's now move to question 7. The third proportional of 9 and negative 12 is what? As long as the question is asking for the third proportional, you're going to write 9 over negative 12 is equal to negative 12 over x. x is the third proportion that we're looking for. So x equals negative 12 times negative 12 over 9. If you do your calculations, the answer will be 16. So the right answer in question 7 is choice C. In question 8, if 6 is the middle proportional between M and 2, then what is the value of M? As long as 6 is the middle proportion, then M over 6 is equal to 6 over 2. To find M, so M is equal to 6 times 6 over 2, then M equals 18. So for question 8, the right answer is choice C. Let's now move to question 9. Question 9 says, if A over B equals B over C equals C over 5 equal 2, then what is the value of A? So here in this one, M is equal to 2. And we know that A equals the D M to the power of 3. In this case, this 5 is the D. So A equals 5 times M, which is 2 to the power of 3. If you do your calculations, the right answer is 40. So in question 9, the right choice is choice B. For question 10, if A, 2, 4, and B are in continuous proportional, then what is the value of A plus B? As long as they are in continued proportion, then A over 2 is equal to 2 over 4 is equal to 4 over B. Then, to find A, A equals 2 times 2 over 4, which is 1. And B equals 4 times 4 over 2, which is 8. Then, if the question wants us to find A plus B, then it is 1 plus 8, which is 9. So the correct answer for question 10 is choice C. Let's now move on to another type that we're going to see in example 2. If A, B, C, and D are proportional, prove that 3A plus C over 5A minus 2C is equal to 3B plus D over 5B minus 2D. So as long as they are proportional to each other, then A over B is equal to C over D. For sure, it's equal to M. So here, A is equal to BM, where C is equal to DM. Let's now go to the left-hand side. We have here 3 A plus C over 5 A minus 2 C. We're going to replace the A by 3 M, so it's 3 B M plus and replace the C by D M. 
over 5 Vm minus 2 Dm. In the numerator, we'll take M as a common factor. So it's M times 3B plus D over, down here, we'll take also M as a common factor, 5B minus 2D. The M and the M are crossed out together, so it will be equals to 3B plus D over 5B minus 2D, which is the part that we have it up in the right-hand side. So this part is equal to the right-hand side. Example 3, if x over y is equal to y over 4 is equal to z over 5, then the question wants us to prove that 2y minus 7 over 3x minus 2y plus z equals half. So, I'm going to say that x equals 3m, where y equals 4m, and z equals 5m. And if we go to the left-hand side, the 2y minus z over the 3x minus the 2y plus the z is equal to, we're going to replace every x by 3m and every y by 4m and every z by 5m. So it's 2 times 4m minus 5m over 3 times 3m minus 2 times 4m plus 5m. If we simplify this, it's 8m minus 5m over 9m minus 8m plus 5m, which is equal to 3m over 6m, that is equal to half. Example 4, if B is a middle proportion between A and C, prove that A over C equals B squared over C squared. Once the question tells you that B is a middle proportion between A and C, automatically you need to write that A over B equals B over C equals M. So here, A over B equals B over C equals M. Then, the B equals C times M, and the A equals C times M to the power of 2. To prove that A over C equals B squared over C squared, we're going to work on the left-hand side. A over C, so the A is Cm to the power of 2 over C, so this is equal to M squared. And if I work on the right-hand side, you will see that B squared over C squared is equal to C squared M squared over C squared cross out the c squared with the c squared, so it's also m squared. So, as you can see here, that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. Then, a over c is equal to b squared over c squared. Part b of the same question, they want us to prove that a squared plus B squared over B squared plus C squared equals A plus C. So, as we wrote before, that B equals CM 
and A equals CM squared. Then, if we go to the left hand side, A squared plus B squared over B squared plus C squared equals, replace the A squared by CM squared, all squared, so it will be C squared M to the power of 4 plus and the b squared will be c squared m to the power of 2 over c squared m to the power of 2 plus c squared. If you take the common factor in the numerator, it will be c squared m squared. So, multiplied by m squared plus 1. And in the denominator, the common factor will be c squared multiplied by m squared plus 1. If we simplify this, the m squared and the m squared plus 1 are crossed out together. The c squared and the c squared are crossed out together. So what's left for you is m squared. If I go to the right hand side, it's a simple one. a over c and the a is cm squared divided by c. If you cross out the c and the c, so it's m squared. As you can see from 1 and 2, the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Let's move to another type which is choose the correct answer. Question 1. The third proportion of the two numbers 9 and negative 12 is what? So the question here is asking you to find the third proportion of the two numbers 9 and negative 12. Let's call this third proportion x. So we're going to write that 9 over negative 12 is equal to negative 12 over x. Then x equals negative 12 times negative 12 over 9 and the correct answer is 16. So for question 1, the correct choice is choice C. For question 2, the proportional mean between A and B is what? As we said before, the proportional mean is the middle term. So here, in this question, the proportional mean between A and B is positive or negative square root of their product. So is positive or negative square root of A times B, which is choice D. In question 3, the question says, if L, M, Z are in continued proportion, then what is L? As long as they are in continued proportion, then here, L over M is equal to M over Z. Then, L equals M squared over Z. So here in question 3, the right choice is choice D. Question 4, if the number 9 is the proportional mean of the two numbers 3 and K, then what is the value of K? As long as 9 is the proportional mean, then 9 is equal to positive or negative the square root of 3 times k. Then 3k equals 9 squared which is 81. Then k is equal to 27. So for question 4, the correct answer is choice C. If a, b, c, and d are proportional, let's prove that a, c over b, d equals a minus c over b minus d all squared. As long as they're all proportional, then automatically we write that a over b equals c over d equal m. Then a equals bm where c equals dm. So let's now go and work on the left hand side and the right hand side, each of them separately. In the left hand side, you will see that 
in the left hand side AC times BD we're going to replace the A by BM times C which is the DM over B times D if we simplify this the B will cross out to the B the D would cross out to the D so it is M squared if we work on the right hand side it says A minus C over B minus D all squared then it is BM minus DM over B minus D all squared if you take the M as a common factor in the numerator then it's M multiplied by B minus D over B minus D all to the power of 2 if you cross out B minus D with B minus D then it's M to the power of 2 as you can see here that we proved that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side by finishing this question we came to the end of our session today thank you very much dear students wishing you best of luck Thank <laughs> you.